Nina Tyberg's pleasure as a bold and provocative debut feature. It tells the story of Bella Cherry, a young Swedish woman who travels to LA in hopes that she can become an adult film actor. Here she stays in a house with other aspiring porn stars, but Bella quickly begins to see that her hopes and dreams go beyond that of her peers. Bella has these grand aspirations of becoming a household name in porn, but with that her youthful naivete and ambition blind her to the dangers of a male-dominated industry. Director Nina Tyberg unflinchingly takes us through Bella's journey as we see her navigating the world of porn, from her attending awkward porn conventions and phony parties to wrestling with agencies and the highly surveyed nature of her job. We simply watch on as a once bright-eyed young woman is subjected to the dangers of an industry that is loosely regulated and occasionally degrading. From the film's opening, though, you are immediately thrust into the life of this character and completely understand that Tyberg is going to hold nothing back here, because this is a stylistically abrasive film, with a lot of explicit sexual imagery. However, the constant sex and nudity never feels romanticized in any way, because it all acts as this terrifying reminder of the grip that the adult film industry can have on young women. However, Tyberg, alongside showing the viciousness and abuse of the industry, also shows a side in which empathy toward the performers and overall professionalism are a priority. We see Bella go on a set in which those around her make sure she feels safe at every waking moment, but scenes like this are then placed in stark contrast with those that show Bella completely violated and in which consent is thrown out of the window entirely. Pleasure easily could have played entirely into these traumatic and pain-filled moments, but with Tyberg's detailed yet critical eye, she seeks to find the nuance of what she is critiquing, showcasing a variety of experiences that go beyond the surface level. Furthermore, Tyberg never plays into the tropes that come along with a narrative like this. She instead seeks to reframe the stereotypes of these stories and deliver something that doesn't rely on the obvious plot points or character beats, and never once throws in a moment where Bella is shamed for her vocation, or looked down upon for her life choices. Instead, Tyberg wants to destigmatize sex work and show it as what it is, a job like everyone else's, while also revealing the evil that can sometimes hide behind the scenes. And acting as the vehicle for Tyberg's ideas is Sophia Capel as Bella Cherry. Capel delivers an extraordinary debut performance that is emotionally complex and utterly gripping to watch. This is far from an easy role as there is a lot asked of her here, from portraying Bella's immense physical toll to the range of emotions she must exhibit throughout the film, but she's absolutely fearless. Every concealed emotion and faint expression is felt, and her delicate dance of trauma and manipulation always feels grounded. Even if you feel unfulfilled by the narrative and the world, I think Capel will still captivate you. You will stay glued to the screen, awaiting her next move and anticipating the culmination of her character's journey. Without Capel's sheer dedication, this would have been a much lesser film but she delivers a brilliant performance that infuses so much raw humanity into a deeply unsettling film. Alongside that, the work of cinematographer Sophie Winkfist is astounding. She crafts a visual look for pleasure that is naturalistic, but also engulfed in vivid and alluring colors. This clash perfectly fits for this film, as the adult film industry has a glossy, enticing exterior, but deep down there is a lot of darkness hidden, and these contrasting techniques play directly into those thematic ideas. When you're watching an unsettling scene in the film, Wingfish shoots it with this level of openness, not only in its compositions, but in its lighting as well. And it makes everything all the more terrifying. You're not watching a scene of pure horror that's baked in darkness or obscured in any way to shy away from those tough moments. It's all shown openly to elevate the intensity of each discomforting sequence. But pleasure is definitely not without its flaws, though, as Tyberg's ambition can sometimes get in the way of this fascinating story. She wants to tackle so much, and with a narrative and world this interesting, it would be hard not to. However, when trying to go for so much, she leaves some ideas and character work astray, and that can make for a film that occasionally feels uneven and muddled. But I was so wrapped up in the film's visceral core, its stylistic flair, and Capel's performance that those gripes end up feeling insignificant in the long run. Overall, though, Pleasure is undeniably going to divide audiences, as some might find this too tough to sit through but I think at its core you'll find a deeply thoughtful and sensitive film, one that is also unafraid of being harsh and explicit in its chase for realism. It's a truly vital piece of filmmaking that opens a window to a world so often shunned and looked down upon, opening discourse on this complex, rarely depicted subject matter, while also being a genuinely fascinating study on ambition and vulnerability. I'm so glad Neon has the courage to release this film in its true uncensored form, and not try to trim it down to an R rating. I believe the film would have lost all of its substance had they made that choice, but I'm happy that Nina Tyberg's complete vision will be on full display. I really hope you all check out Pleasure, even if it's just to experience Sophia Capel's commandingly performance. It's a film uh, everyone should put on their radar, and I'm hoping Neon releases this one soon so you all can experience it for yourselves. Thanks for watching my review of Pleasure. I hope my ramblings push you to check this one out. And for those who have seen it, let me know what you thought. 
I'd say the reactions have been pretty polarizing thus far. But make sure to like this video and subscribe for more stuff like this. I'm trying to grow this channel and it would mean a lot. But that's it. I hope everyone stays safe out there and I'll hopefully see you next time.